puppy and I, my puppy and I are gonna go see if we can find some bears. It's about noon-ish, and uh, we got a bunch of stuff we have to do this evening. But she looked like she wanted to go so bad, so bad. Nope, you guys stay back there. That's, that's your spot. You stay back in your spot. I stay in my spot, you stay in your spot. No slobber on me. I think she smells a bear. That must be it. She's a trained hunting dog, you know. See, she just can't wait. She's like a hound dog mixed with a bird dog, even though she's a purebred lab. Is that right, pup? Speak! 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 Let's be quiet. Let's be quiet. Good girl, good girl. All right, get in the back, get in the back, get in the back. You gonna find any bears tonight, Sage? Yep. How many bears? Hopefully more than one. More than one bear. Aspirations, I like it. Good job. You sure? Mm -hmm. So we're looking at another bear. Looks like a pretty decent one. What do you think? Yeah. Not too bad. We're gonna get the uh, rifle set up. It's only about 400 yard shot. Let's see if we can get some footage of him first, though. Any amount of bear will fill our freezer. <laughs> Lean in, always lean into the hill, never lean away from it. If you lean away from it, your body weight can get away from you. Down the hill you go. So always lean back into the hill, you're doing good. Watch for sticks, sticks are the enemy. Okay. They'll make you slide, they'll stab you. Is that, is that what you taught me to use the side of my foot? Because it pushes you into the hill. Use the side of your foot, use your heel, use your toe. Whatever's gonna dig into that hillside. Just keep following me. You're doing good. We get in a hurry, that's when we get hurt. So we don't need to be in a hurry. We got time. Took the shot from way up there. Huh? Across this canyon. 
bear should be about 100 yards in front of me this way. Almost to him, bud. Almost to him. Yeah. You excited? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Finally get to see bear not cut up. That's right. Let's go check him out. Quan showed up for the rescue. Made it. Hiked all the way in. Quan's gonna help us pack him out, then we're gonna go find Quan a bear. Yeah. There's enough clear cuts around here, we should be able to do it. I think we got time. Oh yeah. Well, it's just the same as So his. David and Peyton decided right. to show but up and help us pack out a bear. What do you think, holder. Peyton? Yeah. So okay. my, I just took like my bag meat? off and put the load right. holder yeah. on it. That's and they brought me some Yeti. Oh, I'm so excited right now. This is good. He said he needs some, so I'll save him a slurp. <laughs> Just getting our um, packs loaded with some meat. Gotta get out of here before it gets too much later. First, we gotta get this bear out. Just getting our packs all set up and dialed. I've used these Kuyu Dean bags for like the last three years. See, everything's gonna be all right. All right. All right. Just side hill. Go around the bottom of that tree and then up. Get some reference here, man. There's another one. Dude, he made it in the tree. I think that's a bed. Look, he made it in the tree. <laughs> See that? Yeah. I think this is a bed. About a third of the way up, I'd say. There's a couple more cuts. We're gonna go check out. We're just gonna get to the top, hop in, and just bomb to them. See what we can do. Kids are up there. <laughs> just rocking it. Just crushing it. <laughs> crushing it. Anyway, doing some filming in between. About 200 pound bear uh, alive. So, not that much weight in meat. Not too shabby. Glad I had some friends to come help, though. Thank you, guys. No problem. Appreciate it. How will return the favor? About halfway there. Filming and hiking. I get you. Should have hit the gym. Gotta keep going. Got it. About the fifth time that's happened, huh? Yeah. Welcome to the life of a hunter, buddy. Rocks in the shoes. We hiked down that cliff. It's awesome. Road, and then we walk and then we jump down it. That's right. Make you feel like a man? Yeah, it also kills me. <laughs> nah, no sissies climbing down that hill. You did a good job. All right, we got a little ways left. We're back at the car. You ready to do this? Yeah. Let's go. Nice. Awesome. Made it back up to the top of the mountain. Peyton. Two five. Sage. David. Come on. One. Bear. Bear meat. This is what happens. Mine's just a bear sled. Yeah, I know. This is what happens when you're a full fat kid. You almost completely drench your hat. That's full fat kid stuff there. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week. I think my game is a little crooked here. We hit this button right here. No, this button. This thing. Yes, I nailed it. Thank you for watching this week. I really appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate the support. Every time you guys like and subscribe, uh, it's noticed. Every every comment you make is noticed. Thank you very much for that. It's uh, motivation to keep moving forward with it. So uh, we just got some new hats in, and um, things are rolling with Chase and Moby right now. We have a T-shirt giveaway uh, in the works for Instagram. So that's awesome. Uh, met up with Matt, uh, the guy who created the logo for us and prints all our shirts. He's an awesome guy, helps us out a ton. Uh, he actually came up with some more uh, logo designs and things like that. So we have some things in the works we're pretty excited about. My son and I went out and got a bear. It was just he and I for the morning. We went out and he actually spotted a bear across the canyon, a black bear. And um, I grabbed my binos and I grabbed the camera and I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, dad. 
Well, by the time I got over there, the bear had just slipped back into the timber line, and I'm going, okay, yeah, sure. So we drive around to the other side, and sure enough, there's another bear over there, and uh, we filmed him for a while, had a good time. Uh, Sage got to play with the camera. He had a great time packing out this bear. This is his first time actually, you know, diving down into a canyon and really putting some serious effort into uh, getting any animal out of some, you know, deep elevation and treachery. So he had a blast. Um, we were able to get the bear down to uh, the creek where it's a little bit flatter and work on him down there and we deboned him and took him out. Had some friends show up to help. That's always awesome. If you can get self-service and get some buddies up there to share the experience, um, that's cool. David brought his daughter, Peyton. She got to hike in and hike out with us. Had a blast. Uh, kids are always fun. Sharing this kind of stuff with kids is what it's all about. So being able to go down there with them and just see their excitement and uh, then they can see kind of why we do it and um, maybe get more involved. Anyway, stay tuned. Next week we got a bunch more footage. Uh, spring bear season is still on the way. I'm actually heading out right now to go glass some bears and do some more filming. I've been out most nights uh, after work chasing bears around. Went out with Leonard Nelson the other day. Uh, spotted another black bear. Uh, David went out. He's seen some more bears. So there's some more tags to fill, so stay posted. Uh, I can't guarantee we'll get a bear every week. That's just... Uh, you know, it doesn't happen that way. It's hunting. So, but anyway, we'll keep you posted, let you know what we're doing. And thanks for watching. We really appreciate the support. Uh, like and subscribe. We will have hats and t shirts available very soon. So, stay tuned for that. Also, on Instagram, we will be doing a t shirt giveaway. Uh, I would say, what day is it? I don't know what day it is, but it will be this next. Oh, it's Sunday or it's Saturday. We're on the weekend right now. It will be this next week. We'll make sure to get that going. So, anyway, stay tuned and thanks again.